Hi there, it's Dan here from Flexible and today we're gonna to talk about how to structure your lead generation campaigns in Facebook. Let's get going. All right, so I'm gonna explain some stuff here, but um, if you do stick around uh, for a few more minutes, my account manager, Graham, is actually gonna go in and show you exactly how to do this if you're more of a visual person. So stick around for that if you can. For the purpose of this illustration, we're gonna start um, with a budget of $200 per day, but obviously if you're only going to be running a, a campaign at 10 bucks a day or 20 bucks a day or uh, $5,000 a day, it's gonna you know, drastically differ from what I'm about to teach today. But if you, um, if you do wanna get started with 200 bucks, then this is a good, a good kind of structure to use, right? I'm gonna keep this really simple. And as I said, Graham's gonna kind of run you through what this looks like, but we wanna always start with ad set budget rather than ABO versus campaign budget CBO. Very quickly, um, if you're running ABO, the, the spend, you know, if you've got 200 bucks and you've got $50 per ad set, you know each ad set is going to, to spend 50 bucks. So you're gonna get a good test of the audience or whatever's um, you're targeting in those ad sets rather than campaign budget. And what they'll do is um, just spend, you know, you, you'll have the same setup, you'll have the campaign and then the four ad sets below that or, or underneath that. And, and Facebook will make its own decisions where it wants to spend that 200 bucks. So you might have one ad set that does $100, the other one that does 75, another one that does 10, and the other one does peanuts, right? So Facebook takes away the ability for you to test audience and just kind of makes their machine learning, makes the decisions for you. When we start testing, I always like, or my agency always likes to go ABO to start with. So we want to test 200 bucks, we want to test four audiences. Um, we want to have one audience per ad set and we want to always, you know, like I'm, I'm kind of brushing over things fairly quickly here, but you want to have a campaign with 200 bucks budget. You want to have your four ad sets in at 50 bucks each per ad set. You want to have one audience per ad set. Um, and then you want to have exactly the same ads in each of the four audiences. All right. So you've got one campaign four ad sets, exactly the same ads. You, want, you might want to start with three or four different ads, but you want, to, you, want to, you want to keep the copy and the headline the same for each of those ads, and you only want to be testing the image first, all right? So in the ad sets, you've got, um, say, four ads. You've got the same copy, the same headline, and then you'll have four, four hopefully, very drastically different type of images in order for you to kind of see what image works best with the copy. All right, and it's the best way of doing things to start with because image is always what stops the scroll first from our experience. It's pretty, pretty general and simple here. To recap again, you've got the campaign, the four, the four ad sets. You've got the four ads in each ad set. You've got four different images within each ad set. And then once you've got that, and you know, I'm not gonna even talk about you know, what type of targeting or anything like that. It's just not gonna be discussed in this video, but um, you want to you want to switch the ads on, and you want to wait for a minimum of, of. I mean, we like to say four days if possible, but some people are a bit impatient. I always am. Um, so if you can make it a couple of days, um, then that's pretty good. All right, and you know, unless things completely bomb out of the gate and you're just getting no leads and you're spending your 200 bucks and it's the the cost per click super high and it doesn't look like you're going to get any results, then obviously kill it. But if it looks like it's got some legs and it started working, then you want to kind of let it run for at least two days, three days, four days to try and get some more data in and then you can start culling and making decisions. Cool, so I've, I've probably suitably confused you with uh, my explanation of how this works. So I'm going to get Graham, my account manager, um, to go through uh, exactly how he would do this inside the ad, ad platform. And he's also, I think, going to show you what it looks like inside a live ad platform, as, uh, live campaign as well. Enjoy, speak to you later. Thanks, Dan. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna show you quickly how we structure it inside the account, step by step. Um, so you wanna go up here, so these are the campaigns that we've got running at the moment. You wanna go up here to create, um, and then you wanna select uh, what objective you want. Uh, now we will always use either sales or conversions. I think conversions is in, Sorry, leads or conversions. Um, conversions uh, is in sales, and then the lead forms are in leads. Um, so you can pick whichever one you want. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do lead forms. And you just press continue. 
and then it builds uh, one campaign, one ad set, and one ad. Uh, so you want to go through your campaign settings first. You want to name it. Uh, that looks all good auction and leads when, when we start a new campaign we always start with abo so we're going to leave campaign budget optimization off it's now called advantage campaign budget um but we'll, we'll look to use that as as we start to scale after we've kind of tested and found audiences and ads that work at good cost per lead um so now that's the campaign set up now you want to go to your ad sets this is where most of the settings come in um here is where you want to set your audience um, so we're going to go for a nice broad one. Um, this is for our paper growth, uh, our paper group growth. Um, so we've got instant form set up there. Uh, you can do others for leads, um, but instant form is the um, the lead forms. Um, there's a few other options you can do instant form as a messenger, uh, where they fill out a form and then send them to messenger. Uh, we're going to just do instant forms here. Um, we're going to go and find the Dan Wardrobe page. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you've accepted uh, the Meta's lead ads terms for the page. Um, I'm going to leave this off for the time being. And then you want to uh, set your budget level here at the ad set. This is per ad set, remember. Um, so we're going to pop in 50. Uh, this is a 200, do 200 pound or $200 ad set that we're doing. And that's all good. Leave the start and end date. Um, and then here is where you can use your custom audiences. Um, now, it depends if you create a lookalike off a, off a list you've got or something like that. Um, but if you're starting out and you haven't got any, any customer lists, you probably haven't got any audiences like this. Um, we would normally go and create um, uh, an audience, a custom audience based off of people who have submitted the lead, the lead form and then exclude it in here. Um, which you can see that we've created here. Uh, add add that in. Now you can change your locations. Um, so we're going to do it to the United States. Like so. Um, and then you want to come down here. You want to set set your age. Um, to whatever your target audience is going to be, we're going to do twenty-four to sixty. I'm going to leave. I'm going to change it. To, I'm going to leave it to all genders uh, to start out. Test. See if if men are way cheaper than women. I would change it just to men. Um, and then here is detailed targeting. Um, this is where you can put in your interests. So we we call this digital marketing. So we want to target digital marketers out there in this interest here. Um, I'm going to turn this off. Uh, in in the conversion campaign, this is automatically applied, and you can't turn it off. But in the lead in in the lead generation instant form campaign, you can turn off advantage detailed targeting. This basically just um, lets Facebook go beyond your audience uh, to find other conversions that might convert at a cheaper cost per lead. Uh, when we start out, I normally leave it off, um, and then as we scale, I I will, I will uh, test it to see if it helps uh, the campaign or not. Facebook said it should. Um, but that's not always the case. And I would leave on all placements to start with as well. So that's Facebook, Instagram, um, news feed, stories, reels, all that kind of stuff. I'd leave that on just so I can test and get some data. And then I can start culling off um, placements. Um, and I'm going to leave this as it is as well. Uh, now I just want to check, check the population size. To do this, we've got to take off the exclusion. This always uh, means that the audience size is unavailable for you to, to see. So if you take it off, you'll be able to see the audience size. So it's a it's a, it's a big audience. It's probably a bit too big. Uh, ideally, I'd go and na narrow that audience down to this. Um, so maybe I'll narrow it down to pay per click as well, and that will bring the audience size down to about there. That's a good size uh, for fifty pound spend. Um, so I'm going to go up and I'm going to make sure I put back in my exclusion. And then that's my uh, first ad set done. Then I'll go on to creating the, create the, um, uh, the ads. One second. So you want to just uh, name this ad. Uh, I don't know what your naming conventions are, but I will normally do something like this. 
Yeah, you can see them all turn up. One sec. See them all. Let's add one, headline one, and then image. Let's go with image 19. Uh, the Facebook page has already been selected at uh, I think the campaign or ad set level or uh, link your Instagram account if you haven't uh, come down. We normally, do, we, we, we normally start off with single image or video and we're just going to uh, add the media. So very simple. Uh, optimize your placements. Yeah, nice. And this one, no, let's leave that as original. Press done. That's all good. And then you want to uh, type in your ad copy here. Uh, headline here. And then your description if you have one there. Sometimes we don't use this descriptions. It's up, up to you. Uh, and you're, you can change your call to action button here. <coughs> Um, and then you want to select your lead form. If you haven't created it, you want to go and create one. Um, which is pretty simple. I'm not going to show you on this video. There's a few videos that, we're, that we've got where we show you how to do that. Um, and then if you've got any website events off the lead form. So on the last page, um, this is going to the group. So we don't need website events on. But um, if you want to track after this and they go to a separate landing page, and you want to track those events. You want to go and select website events and then select the pixel. And then once that's done, you want to duplicate um, this ad set uh, three times. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to, so just to make this easier, I'm just going to make this image one. I'm going to make this image two. I'm going to make this image three. I'm going to make this image four. So just, just to show you on image two, um, we are keeping the exact same ad, same ad copy, same headline, same description. Uh, we're just going to change the image to image two. Uh, let's say this one. Let's put on. Let's try this long one here. Image. This one here. Let me just want to make sure that that's all set up properly. There we go. Let's go to. Yep, that looks good. And that looks good there. Cool. So once you've done that, uh, and that's everything done on this one as well. Come out, and then you want to, and then you want to add in a different image on image three and image four. I'm not, I'm not going to do that now, um, because it's a waste of time. Um, and then you want to go back to your ad sets once you've created your four ads. Then you want to duplicate these. And for this example, for two hundred dollars, you want to duplicate them three times in the original campaign. And then you want to come out, and you want to go in and edit each one that says copy. Um, so let's put, so this one we're going to target lead generation. We're going to scroll down. We're going to keep uh, exactly the same audiences, like so same location, same age, uh, same this. And this we're testing the interest, okay? And there we go. And again, we want to just go and take this exclusion off first just to check that the audience size is good. Yep, I'm happy with that audience size, so I can go in and go and add that exclusion back in. And again, you want to go and make sure that you are going to change these um, to different audience targeting, basically. So then you have four ad sets, each spending £50, so up to a total of 200 And then that's and you can just basically run that. Uh, and and see what see what happens with that. Uh, now I'll show you. I'll just show you. We've been running this uh, th this campaign for a while. So this one we've spent about eight hundred and thirty seven pounds so far. About two hundred pound a day. Eleven pound ninety seven leads at the moment. 
Um, it's gone up slightly because we've had started to ask for their number as well. I'll just show you the week before. We were running this one. It made some changes to the campaign here. Started bringing it down. Bring down some more. And I think we could do the 23rd and the 24th. So it was getting cheap. So where was the really cheap day? Ah, so it start, started there. So it run about £9 um, in this campaign. This wasn't asking for a number. This one was, uh, just to show you exactly, exactly the same setup. Uh, we culled off an, uh, an audience that wasn't working for us very well. Um, and then we started to test more. Again, always have four audiences while, when testing. It's quite an early test campaign. Um, and in this one, let's just go up to the full amount that we've been doing. Um, again, so I'm going to start testing another ad set to bring this back up to £200 testing. And we're culling off ads as we go in here as well. Um, which I'll start to do. Um, but yeah, that's basically how you set it all up. This is live in action. Um, and it's always good to have four ads because then the algorithm has a choice and that always helps the algorithm. We found rather than just going with one ad where Facebook has to use that ad and smash it out. Um, but yeah, cheers for watching guys. Quite simple today. Um, that's how you, we set up our uh, first campaigns. All right, cheers guys. So I really hope you've enjoyed um, this video and you've been able to follow Graham's uh, kind of teachings there pretty easily. As a matter of fact, it's exactly the same structure, structure we use when we're launching our client getting campaigns, all right? And we do this using Facebook lead ads um, and we turn them into mini funnels where they actually um, look like landing pages and we've got a very clever call to action at the end of the Facebook leads funnel, which smashes your um, client getting work out of the park. It's systematic clients on tap. It's absolutely, um, you know, incredible training. Um, I'm, I obviously think it is because I created it, but um, you should check it out. There'll be a link below in the description. Um, it, it really, we're getting tons of clients that are um, getting loads of results with this training. I hope you enjoy and I'll chat to you later.